my name is Brad Henderson. I'm the Director of Service, and today we wanted to put out a public service announcement regarding one of the latest Microsoft Windows updates that came out this past week that caused a lot of printing issues for people. And that is uh, update KB4560960. And if you search that on Google, you'll see uh, there are a lot of problems uh, causing major issues, printing problems. If you scroll down through there, some of you may have already experienced that. So today we wanted to talk about a few uh, quick fixes that may work for you until Microsoft comes out with their own fix. The people that are affected the most seem to be people using the older versions of PCL drivers. And so one of the fixes we found is to update the print driver to a PCL6 driver. And so I wanted to use a Canon MFP printer as an example. Uh, so how you can update your driver to a PCL6 driver. So we're going to go to usa.canon.com if you have a Canon. Of course, if you have a different manufacturer, you would want to go to their website to find the driver. Uh, if you click on support, usually you'll see uh, software and drivers. And it will ask you to type in your model. So we're using a C250 Canon Imgur Advance. And it will take you to the drivers. Uh, there are many different ones. So you'll want to choose a PCL6 driver. So here's the latest PCL6 driver put out by Canon for this model. We're going to select that and download it. And after it downloads, you can double click on the executable file down here in the lower left hand side of the screen. And it will open up to extract all the files. And you'll want to extract them to your downloads folder. And you can, if you open up your file explorer after that, you will see um, it downloads the relevant folder that it extracted. It will be called PCL6 or generic plus PCL6. Right here, that's where it's stored your uh, driver files. There's a setup program you can run in here. Um, it will automatically go out and search and find that printer. Sometimes that doesn't find the printer. Um, so what I want to do this morning is show you how you can add a printer from Windows. And so we're going to go and uh, into control panel. And we're going to go to printers and scanners or devices and printers. And we're going to add a printer here. Like I said, a lot of times it won't find it on the network. So you can push on uh, the printer that I have isn't listed. You can add a printer using a TCP IP address or host name. Uh, we want to use the TCP IP kind of port. Um, we don't want Windows to um, try to manage the port. We want a TCP IP port. Um, a Windows managed port is called a WSD port. And sometimes they can be unstable. Uh, if it doesn't think your printer is online, it may make that printer unavailable. So in here, what we can do is type in the TCP IP address, the IP address of the printer. And in this case, we know the address is 10.10.4.40. Um, you can find that on your copier. If you go to a Canon copier and go into preferences and network and then uh, print out an output report, it will show you the IP address. You can also find it inside your old print driver under ports. It will show you what IP address it was using. So we're going to type in that IP address. It's a static IP address for that printer. It's going to go out and communicate with the printer. Um, it may say, I don't know which one to use, so um, please tell me you have a disk and where to find it, or it may pull up in here um, which one uh, you can use. I'm going to say I have a disk. Really, it's, it's on my downloads folder. I'm going to go in here uh, into my downloads folder, and I'm going to find the generic PCL6 folder in the drivers. And there's my driver file right there. I'm going to press OK. It's a gen generic Canon driver. I'm going to replace the current driver, yes. And you can name your printer. I call it the service printer. So you can find it once it loads and choose that printer to print to. It's going to install the printer at this time. May take a minute or two and ask you for permission.
and as I mentioned, this may take a minute or two. Um, it may or may not ask you also to restart your computer afterwards. Um, you also need to choose whether or not you're gonna share this with other users. I would normally leave this on do not share this printer. Click next and you can choose to set as a default or not. You can choose to set uh, send a test page to test whether the driver was successful. And you can click on finish. And so you'll see it added it to our printers on our computer down here, service printer. Now um, that should, uh, in most cases, uh, apply a temporary fix uh, until Microsoft comes out with their own, updating it to the PCL6 driver. There's also one other thing you can do as a last resort. Uh, it's something you wanna to talk to your IT personnel about before you do it. You can roll back the latest update and uninstall it, the relevant update that caused the issue. You can go into your start menu and then into your settings here. And we're gonna go find, uh, we can find the update under update and security. And if you view the update history here, you can uninstall updates up here. And you can go scroll through here and choose the, the uh, relevant KB number. And it will give you the option then to uninstall it. And as I said, you would not want to do this until you have talked to uh, an IT person or your IT department to make sure that if this is uh, uninstall it, will it affect other things that uh, Microsoft has updated? So again, this would be a last resort. Uh, we have both of these options and we have used both of them to fix this issue uh, until Microsoft comes out with their own fix. And so um, that is our public service announcement for today, how to apply a temporary fix to this current uh, printing issue caused by this Microsoft update from last week. So if you have any questions and these don't work for you, please feel free to contact us at Preferred Office Technologies and we would be more than happy to help you. Have a good day.